police are the ones with the weapons and the tools to cause harm. A group wants defund CPS trending, saying money is better spent on social services and mental health programs. This as Canadians continue to die during police mental health and wellness checks. This former RCMP officer says that, that needs to end. The training that police officers receive is not sufficient to deal with uh, the myriad of mental health issues that they're confronted by. And that's not necessarily an issue with the individual police officer. It's an issue with the societal response to it. Police officers are the de facto mental health worker. When answering questions about defunding police last month, Calgary's police chief noted CPS has become the de facto social service. His force receives over $400 million a year. The foundation argues CPS tops city expenses at 10 times more funding than affordable housing and social services. Hey, how are you doing? Issues involving uh, homeless people or people who are in distress, often the dope team will get the first call. The problem is the dope team is, as an example, is ridiculously underfunded. They're continuation is tenuous but organizations like that or initiatives like that are a perfect framework for how mental health can be taken out of the hands of police. This call center has connected officers with mental health professionals in the last two years. Alberta Health Services data shows a steady decrease in Form 10s, which involves apprehending people and transferring them to hospital under the Mental Health Act. CPS has said officers can spend hours in ER wait rooms for these incidents. A call to defund police is ringing out across North America and advocates hope the topic actually results in more than just what's trending. In Canada in the last two months, I think we've had eight black indigenous or other persons of color killed by police on mental health calls or what are referred to as wellness calls. That can't continue. In Calgary, Crystal Adarius, City News.